Psalms, chapter 108, a song or a psalm of David. O oh God, my heart is fixed. Heart is fixed upon God. Steadfast, unmovable. I will sing and give praise even with my glory. And that's what the psalm is about. It's a song for God. So he starts off with a definition of what the psalm is. Awake, sultry, and heart. I myself will awake early. Using instruments to for the psalm. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing praises unto thee among the nations. So David is not shy about his worship to God. He does it openly before the people and as a testimony. For thy mercy is great above the heavens. All right, that's what the psalm is about. The subject is God. The the uh, the character, the, the message of it is the mercy of God. And thy truth reaches unto the the clouds. So the mercy and truth of God is just wide and expanse. It's without. There's no limitations. To God's mercy. There's no limitation, limitations to God's truth. Be thou exalted. That's God, not man. O God, above the heavens. And thy glory above all the earth. Well, in this day and age, today we have airplanes flying above our head. and that, Well, that's the heavens. That's above the earth. Do they give God the glory? While they're, while they're piloting that airplane in autopilot, are they praising God? Are they praying to God? Make sure everything goes well and right? You may have some saved pilots, but I don't think it's completely all. Psalms 108, verses 6 to 13, can be found in Psalm 60, which we've already studied. That thy beloved may be delivered. Save with thy right hand and answer me. God has spoken in his holiness. So everything in the Bible is God's holy. That's why we call it the Holy Bible. And that's where it comes from. I will rejoice. I will. All right, now I will rejoice is God speaking. I will divide Shechem. And meat, which means measured, out the valley of Sukkot. And for a country, here, I know this is a valley, but for a country that was meted out and, and, and put to the scales was Babylon in Daniel 5.27. When the handwriting on the wall and, and Daniel says that the interpretation is you've been, you've been counted, you've been measured, and you've been found wanting. That's an example of the meat here. Gilead is mine. Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the strength of my head. Now it's funny because Ephraim, you read in the Bible, is a is the tribe that went to idolatry. And that's the tribe that, that uh, the Mormons think they're from. Ephraim also is the strength of my head. Judah is my lawgiver. Right, those were those were those of God that were proper. Children and nations and cities in, in Israel. Now we're going to look at some of the enemies. Moab, which is of Lot, which fought against Israel many a time, is my wash pot. But held dirty water after you were done washing. Over Edom, that is Esau, another enemy of Israel, will I cast out my shoe over Phil Philistia which is Philistines another enemy of God I will triumph God is going to get victory over the Middle East over there all those nations that fight against Israel God will get the victory that land will be given to Israel who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? 
And that's the passage of the second advent. Will not thou, O God? So verse 10 is Israel crying out. Verse 11, will not thou, O God, who has cast us off? Well, that would be in the, the tribulation period. And will not thou, O God, go forth with, with our host? So David's writing it in the time of the tribulation, God's going to cast them off, but he's not going to leave them off. He's going to come and get them. The raiment that survives. Give us help from trouble. Time of Jacob's trouble. For vain is the help of man, and that was the subject of Psalm 107 the other night. So it's, right, it's how these psalms are put in order. Through God we shall do valiantly. For he it is that shall tread down our enemies. And that is going to be a millennial and eternal passage in verse 13. There will be no enemies of Israel in the in the millennium because the goat nations that didn't do nothing for Israel will be cast into outer darkness. The judgment of the nations. And then in eternity, of course, you're not going to have no enemies of, of, of Israel because Satan's going to be put away. All the nations that don't do what God tells them to do will be put away. That's a, that's a quick, short verse. And if you were to really study out uh, the history in it, and you study the tribulation in it, there, there's much information in that chapter as we close oh lord my god when i in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made i see the stars i hear the rolling thunder thy power throughout the Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great. And when I think that God, his son, not sparing, sent him to die, I scarce can take it in. That on the cross, my burden gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee.